Hi, I'm Richard Delaney from Rope Lab. There's been quite a bit of discussion recently about the mechanical advantage offered by these four systems here. These four systems are basically the same. This is the most simple. I've just got a pulley at the bottom and a pulley at the top. Now the conjecture comes in consideration of what is the mechanical advantage of this system and is it different if the person on the ground does the pulling or if I do the pulling myself. Now it's a little bit confusing because people have traditionally assumed that any pulley attached here is a stationary pulley and anything attached to the load is a moving pulley. If the person on the ground is doing the work then that's true. Now the other half of the language or the equation that's been left out in that discussion of moving and stationary pulleys is the significance of the frame of reference. What that means is who is doing the work. They define the frame of reference and ultimately with mechanical advantage Mechanical advantage is technically the ratio of the applied force to the input force. If my person on the ground is doing the lifting, then obviously this is a system that is 2 to 1, where that top pulley is a redirection. If, they, if I weigh 100, if I leave out units, if I weigh 100, they'll apply 50 and I'll start to go up, or 50 in a little bit. Now, when I take the rope myself, that frame of reference now becomes the load. And when I do this work, that pulley appears to be getting closer to me, so that now becomes a moving pulley, and this one is a stationary pulley. If I weigh 100 to be suspended and not moving, then I would have 33 and a third in each of these strands of rope. As soon as I pull a little bit more than 33 and a third, I start to go up. So I weigh 100, I'm applying 33 and a third, so the ratio of that as an ideal mechanical advantage is 3 to 1. What about the amount of rope that goes through the system? That's another way we can check mechanical advantage. Work equals force times distance. So if I give the rope to the person on the ground, if there's one metre plus one metre of rope here, they will measure two metres of rope going through their hands and at that point I will be at the top. Now, if I take the rope myself and I'm the one doing the pulling, if I have a rope counter attached to my harness or a small winch that's actually doing the work, then there's one, two, and three metres of rope that must go through the system for me to get to the top. So using that other measure of how much rope moves through the system, I have to pull three metres of rope through the system for me to move up one metre. So again, this system is a ratio of three to one for ideal mechanical advantage. In summary, any of these four systems, if someone else is doing the work lifting this load, then it is a two to one with this high redirection. If the load becomes the object doing the work, whether it's a winch, a four-wheel drive vehicle, or me just pulling myself up using one of these RAD type systems, then now it becomes a three to one system because this is a moving pulley.